Hi, my name is Andre, and welcome at Your Guitar Workshop. This is going to be part six um, in my Classical Gas uh, tutorial series. Uh, this version is by Tommy Emanuel. If you missed parts one through five, uh, you can find them either on my website or on my channel. Anyway, so let's get into this um, into this tune. I only just sort of um, got to these parts, so everything is like last time kind of fresh. Um, so let me play the first uh, four bars for you first, and then we'll get into how to play that on the guitar. So here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> All right, so what do you play? Um, you start off with playing a pedal note. So, and that pedal is B, and B we play in seventh position on the low E string, right? I fret that with my thumb, and that, because it's a pedal note, it'll be heard through all of the bars that we'll, we're gonna be playing. So it's a pedal note that's being played underneath the chords. Then the chords we'll be playing are uh, triads and those are E. So that's ring finger in ninth position on D, G, and B. That's B. So that's ring finger on nine on D, middle finger seven, uh, sorry, eight on G and index finger seven on B. So. And then those two same grips, but then one whole step down. So that would be D, so that's fifth position of uh, A, G, and B, with that B bass note, and then A over B, that's ring finger on seven on D, middle finger on six on G, and index finger on five of B. So we have, right? Those are the basic ones. So what do you play? Um, you play three, four, E, E, B, E, E, B, E, E, B. Then you do sort of the same thing, but now it's D and A, so you get three, four, D, D, A, D, A, E, E, B. So in between those chords, you'll be filling it up with the bass notes, as you can hear. So this is a pretty important, uh, important part of it. So those are the first four bars. So All right, so the second time around you play this, it's a little bit different. Now, the first two bars are the same, so you still play... But this, the next two bars are changed, and that goes like this. Three, four. So what do you play? You start off there with playing uh, what you would play. So that's uh, D, D, A, followed by two bass notes. So. And then you get... Uh, a couple of new chords, so that's E. So that's uh, ring finger in six on D, index finger in four on B, uh, G, middle finger in five on B. Then it goes to A again, back to E, A. Then you get F sharp. So that's that E chord, but then move it up two frets. And then it goes to B like that. Right? So you have uh, E, B, A, E, A, F sharp, B, and then you're back to the beginning. So, three, four, D, D, A, B, And the tricky part is, is that in between those chords, after your um, first E chord, you play down and up stroke. So it's doubles. So it's like, uh, 
Uh, right? But you play it fast, so you have a... Then we go to the next four bars, and they're practically the same. There is a little variation in there. So uh, you play... Uh, right? So instead of playing... Uh, it's... And then... That's kind of the same. So let's play that together. One, two, three, four, and. Then the next section goes like this. Uh. So what do you play? You play. E, E, B, E, B. And then in the next bar, you just play uh, that uh, B with an open E string. So one and two and three. And then on the fourth beat, you play open E. And then you play uh, G over A with an open E string. G over A is index finger in third of B, middle finger in fourth of G, and pinky in um, fifth of D, and your ring finger is on the A in fifth position of low E. Right? So like this, three, four, E, B, E, B. Right? So that's on the four end. One, two, three, four. Then you play the bass twice, and then the chord, upstroke, like this. One, two, three, four. Then you go to F over G, so that's your G over A, but then two steps down. Uh, so once more, one from that B, one, two, three, four. Uh. Then you go to G, upstroke, bass, and then C over G. All right? So starting on the fourth beat, on that, uh, right? Three, one, two, three. Now this is a lot, um, there are like small variations, so I can't imagine it's kind of sometimes hard to follow along. It'll be easier with the tap. Um, so here we go. Uh, starting at the beginning and working our way up to this point. One, two, three, four. All right, so now let me play the next part for you. Uh, here we go. One, two, three, four. All 
All right, so what do you do? You start on that uh, C over G uh, on the four end of the previous bar. So one, two, three, four. And then on the one end of the next bar, you play uh, low E, then top E, and then you play so G, B, E, B, G. Then you create um, a small bar in first position of uh, G, B, and E. You play it. So one, two, and then open G. And then you play open E, and then first position B. Like this. Sort of like a... Uh, F minor sound there. So up until there, one, two, three, four. Then you get the following lick. So what do you play? You play um, uh, third position of E, pull off, then third on B to first, and then make a pull-off. So Then you play that first position once more, pull-off, first position G, pull-off, and then third position on D, so like this. Then you play uh, third position of G string, Pull off to one, pull off to open, it's like a... Then you play third on D, first on D, hammer on on second position with your middle finger. Then open G, second position G, open B. All right, so together that would be three, four, So with those chords before, one, two, three, four. Then we get. So you start off with uh, C part of it anyway, like normal C chord, but then you just play the inner part of it. So that's D, G, and B with thumb, index, and middle finger. Pluck those strings, then you play D string, then B string, and then you go to pinky third position, uh, yeah, third position of D, uh, B. Then you play C on the A string, so that's third position with your ring finger. It's so like a... Then open E, then second position D, like this. Then you go to an F minor, and so basically I have, um, and maybe you don't really need to, but we'll do it anyway. So I have your index finger as a small bar on G, B, and E in first position, ring finger is in third of D, and you play just D and E together, then you play G, and then you put your pinky in third of B. So, and then you go back to your C chord, and you play uh, A, G, B, G, like. So from that bar, three, four. Then we get, So what do you do? You start off with uh, basically uh, F minor. So we have our index as a bar on first position of G and B. And then I fret G with my pinky, that's fifth position of the D string. And I just play uh, D, G, B. Then I play ring finger third position of that D. Do the same thing. Then middle finger second position, do the same. Then open D string. 
the same thing, and then I go to ring finger third position of A, and then open G and B. So like this, three, four. So up until there, starting on that C with G in the bass, so like a one, two, three, four. So now we come into familiar territory. So we have the uh, And I guess we know this so we have a Basically what you do at the end, so you have uh, and then what you do is you put your ring finger uh, gently touching fifth position of all of your strings and you rake and that'll create those natural harmonics. Then what you do is you hold your guitar here on the top and then you push your neck forward a little bit. Don't overdo it, and it might be a good practice to not do it at all, but that's sort of the technique that he does. So if you end up trying this and you break something, um, that's on you. So if you want to take that risk, I usually don't do this kind of stuff with my more precious guitars. Um, I might sometimes do it with the ones that I care a little bit less about. So let's try to do it from the beginning from what we did so far and um, yeah, see how we, how it goes. One, two, three, four. <laughs> enjoyed that. Um, as I've mentioned in previous videos, at the moment, everything is so busy. So I have, uh, I had like an hour and a half this morning to figure everything out and get it on tab and then doing the tutorial. So um, yeah, if it feels that it's kind of iffy, uh, that's why the material is correct. I'm, I'm, I'm for 99. 9% sure that it is correct, but uh, there might still be a mistake in here or there. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed that. If you want to consider uh, supporting me on Patreon, that's always welcome. Uh, some people have mentioned that they'd rather do single donations, so I've set up a PayPal account for that. Uh, links are in the description. Uh, the tabs for download on Patreon, and once the tutorial is finished, uh, I will have one up on display, so that's not for download, but up on display on my website as well. Um, that's it for now. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're into this kind of thing, and uh, I can guarantee you one of my tutorials that's going to come after this is going to be a little bit less complicated than this one. This has been quite the journey for me, I can tell you. Anyway, wishing you a great weekend, great week. Um, and uh, I will see you next time. Bye.